Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Buy Squad, brought to you by Ghost211 Media and the Anadromous Fly Company. Um, my name is Ricky Evans and I'll be your host for this video. Y'all be sure to check out our stores at fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian shoppers and fishingandoutdoors.net for U.S. and international shoppers. Today we're going to be tying a carp damsel. It's uh, just a variation of the scorpion actually. It's just I made a few twists twist to it and it's, it's my go-to for carp here in Central Texas. It works really well. And uh, let's get started. I have a Gamakatsu G Carp Humpback number six. And I'm, I'm using some Semperfly Nano Silk 12 aught. You can use 100 denier or whatever you would like. We're going to get our thread attached and put a nice little thread base right up front. We're going to be attaching some dumbbell eyes, or not dumbbell eyes, sorry, B chain. I have some medium olive hairline bead chain. I'm going to get that attached. I don't use any kind of a glue on my carp flies because I feel like they can smell it. <clears throat> so I don't use it. And yes, sometimes if you don't glue these eye, uh, these this bead chain down, yes, it does kind of um, turn on you sometimes. So you might want to keep an eye on that, or you could just deal with the glue. But I don't do it. I think the carp can smell it. So I've had them run from them, cruise right up to them like they're going to pick them up, and then turn turn away from them as soon as they get close to them with a uh, like head cement or UV or whatever. I just don't use it on them. So I've got my bead chain attached. Now I'm going to advance my thread back. <clears throat> Part of the way down the bend, and you may have to adjust your hook a little bit, get it where you want it. I'm going to take and you can use regular marabou, whatever you'd like. The scorpion actually has a rabbit fur as the tail. I'm using some barred, this is hairline, barred marabou. I want this to be thin. I don't want it to be a big bushy tail because we're trying to uh, imitate a, a damsel. And a damsel is, a, is, a, is kind of long and skinny. And all we want is a little bit on that tail to give us some movement. So going to tie that in just down the bend some Get that tied in here and I usually tie this down this, the length of the shank because you want your body to be even so Now I'm going to take some, some silly legs and I have black and olive and this will give us that ribbed effect. Tie that in the length of the shank as well. I'm going to wrap our body with this. It gives it a nice rib looking effect. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to 
So hold on to these because we're fixing to reuse them. <clears throat> what I like to do is I'll take it, take them and just hook it under this side and under this side of the eyes. Just pull them both around then tie them in that way. It's very similar fly to the scorpion. I just, I don't use the rabbit fur for the tail and I use silly legs for the body instead of foam. We cut these off and, and these I like to make a little long, somewhat long, maybe maybe back to the length of the body or part of the, part of the way of the length of the tail back. So we're just making a couple of, couple of legs here. Now I have some, this is hairline, hairline India hen bat and olive. I'm gonna take just one, one, one feather. And we're, what we're gonna be using is, is the fluff off the bottom of this feather. So we're gonna just kind of pull that back. We're gonna clip off the top section. We're going to advance our thread to the front of the dumbbell eyes. I'm going to palmer this forward. I'm going to go a couple of wraps behind the, sorry, bead chain eyes. I'm sorry, it's not dumbbell. I'm going to palmer this couple of wraps and behind the bead chain and then come forward and finish out your wraps there. Couple in front. Finishes. And I'm definitely going to do a couple of whip finishes on the front of this fly because, like I said, I'm not going to be putting any kind of head cement or anything of that nature on this fly. it off and that fly is done and it will here in, here in central texas this this right here will get them every time they seem to love them here i've caught bass catfish carp crappie gar even chase these things so i've caught a lot of pin nose gar on them and they work great We appreciate y'all watching these videos. Y'all be sure to click the like button and subscribe. Hit that reminder bell so you get notified when a new video drops. Y'all be sure to check out our stores at fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian shoppers and fishingandoutdoor.net for U.S. and international shoppers. Thanks for watching.